Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully created one of the pages for the admin profile. Now I want to do, I want to design it. So if you want to design it, the, if you know a little bit that CSS HTML, then I hope it will be very easy to you. And that is our project. And now better I want to go to our folder. That means our backend folder into the backend theme. If you go to that, our dashboard.html, I want to open it. From here, I want to actually get some of the design from this position because here right now we are using this type of one of the dashboard, right? Here, if you go, um, they have the multiple pages, a special, uh, they have some of the special pages and you can see that is one of the profile pages. Hmm, great. Now, actually, I want to do, I want to um, load this type of one of the things actually. Okay, in our side left part, I will actually add some of the things and then that will be our another part. Mm, better I want to don't take it. So that is in our main and the pages general and profile.html. I want to go there. That is a pages and then the general and then that is a profile.html. If you open with the sublink text and here also if you go to that our index and you can see I have already take our EL part should be started from to the page content, right? And rest of this will be not needed because I have already take everything from our admin dashboard. Great. So now if you open it. And that is a profile.html right now here here we don't need any sidebar we don't need any mm, our another part as a neighbor we don't need this neighbor and that is the page content great so i want to, to simply select it you can see there's a dev is started dev is ended and that is our footer part but i copy it and now in our profile admin profile area here i want to paste okay now one by one we have to design now click as a save all Right now we don't need it. I simply take our page contain. Great. And now let's check this out. If you now go, I want to refresh it. Hmm. You can see everything is work perfectly. And also our footer is now visible. Great. Great. So right now I want to remove everything actually. Here I only want to do want to take this image. They have also on the image. And rest of this I want to remove. And I will customize it as per our demand. First of all, I want to create the design like here um, that is our first things first things this one right here actually i want to remove everything um, they have only one of the image so that is one of the dev and dev image i want to simply take it okay i take that image functionality i copy it and then in our um, about okay that is actually about that means that is our about here i want to do to for now i want to save it that means paste it so I simply paste it in here. Now I want to click as a save all. And now if you go refresh it, hmm, there's the image is visible. So I will actually customize it as per our demand. So right now I want to remove this part. This part will be not needed. If you go select it, um, that is also another Dave. Dave by Dave I want to remove better. So that is a Dave is started, Dave is ended. I want to remove this one. That is also another Dave I select it. Dave is ended. I want to simply remove it there is another dev dev column four there is a row i simply remove everything okay great now that should be gone now click the save all now this part should be gone refresh it hmm, perfect it's now gone great and also i want to take only our this part here um, that is a latest photo and everything i want to actually remove so if you want to remove it, there is a latest photo. I want to go there. That is our first another row. This part I want to take another one as a middle one. You can see there is a middle one. I want to minimize it. That is a row is started, row is ended. And you can see that is our latest photo, right? And that means that is our latest photo. Here I want to remove this one. So if you want to remove it, that is also one of the row. If you select it, you can see there is a row is ended. There is an end dev. I remove it and also want to remove it great now our left part also should be gone click as a save all day by day actually you can do this work very easily hmm. you can see it's also gone great and also now this part this part area that the two i only want to take one right now if you again unminimize it now you can see that is also there is a two part there is another card body and also um, that is one of the one minute ago follow and if you go there is another call md12 
that is a mac 5 minute ago okay you can see that is our call md12 maybe this one if you select it there is a card rounded i want to remove this card rounded let's check this out click the save all and now if you refresh it hmm, you can see it's also successfully gone great it's also gone perfect perfect so now i want to do also there is a dev dev is not needed i want to remove it only this part will be enough okay this part will be enough i want to do here there is a mic one minute ago the mic one minute ago that is one of the dev and also there is one of the drop down if you selected this dev dev is ended okay dev by dev i want to remove i want to remove it and also there is a card body if you select this dev Mm, that is one of the body and then there is our card footer if you select this one card footer footer is ended i want to remove this footer ended and that is our card body okay great so now also i don't need it i want to refresh it <laughs> completely remove it day by day and that is also another card rounded if you select this card rounded card rounded is ended here i want to do i want to remove okay now that is restarted that is ended that is row row is ended and there is our dave dave is ended great now everything should be clean click as a save all now refresh it hmm you can see it's totally clean actually i have actually removed everything from to this area so in particular this area i want to do i want to simply take another things okay Mm, if you want to go to our project into the project from to this area i want to take one of the form if you go because here we have to load some of the form actually i want to go to that our form and basic element okay that means from basic element you can see this type of one of the things you can actually load rather than you can also load this one what about the things actually you choose right now and to do and to better take, take this one okay so if you select it inspect it and now there is also another card body and there is a card right i want to simply select this dev card and now i want to edit it so i simply copy this card from here which is fine and now i want to do and to simply after that row here we don't need this dev i want to remove it and here i paste it okay great great so now after that is our card is started if you now click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it perfect you can see it's now successfully visible right and also there is our total 12 column i want to update this i want to take as a total so that will be in here in here that is also one of the row block row block that is a four and then excel as a three right and then here here that will be as a eight and six i went down to make it as a eight okay this one will be as a eight and this one will be as a four okay then our every row there have the 12 column now that will be eight and four will be as a 12 great now if you click as a save all now let's check this out click as a refresh hmm perfect perfect you can see it's now successfully visible that things like that way great now that is our about one of the images here if you want to change it Mm, that is the images images wide as a 70 right you can also update like i want to don't make it as a hundred hundred rounded and that should be displayed the name this about we don't need it i remove it and also there have some of the edit functionality that means here we don't also don't need it okay i want to do and to remove it better so that is in here if you select this deb deb is handed i want to remove this deb uh, that is also on the button dev here we don't need it i'll remove it i want to make it as a clean i click as a save all and now if you go refresh it hmm, perfect you can see it's now successfully visible that things like that way and that is also one of the h3 text dark i don't need this dark here i want to make it here click as a save all now refresh it hmm, perfect perfect so now friend first of all i want to do i want to display all that our user data okay which data you want to visible you can actually display it like right now first of all that is the image image i want to do also i will actually upload some of the image okay from from to this area so for the reasons here 
here um, that is one of the images and there is a src so into the src area i want to put one of the condition okay i want to simply add one of the condition so that will be src okay here i want to do so here simply i want to take one of the new function that will be not empty method okay empty and not empty will be which one from here i have already passed i get that our specific row id data take the things with this variable as a profile data i pass it in our admin profile view page so now by this we can actually able to access everything now here i want to done to access it that is one of the variable okay here if you want to access that variable here we have to access it by the variable so now with this variable i want to done to access our field name because here I have already get all the things from our user table. If you go to that your user table or field name as a photo. Okay, now I want to done to access it. So after that, that will be as a photo. Photo. That means when our profile photo will be not empty. Not empty means what? That means they have some of the data, right? And then I make it a then with the questions mark. Then I want to done to access that our URL. Our URL will be I want to create some of the folder in our public as upload okay here i will actually save this data literally uh, when i save it everything will be more clear and also i want to better take another folder as a admin um, admin images okay that means admin related all that images i will save it in particular this area and here by if you want to access it we have to access it by the profile that i have already take all that our specific user table row id all the data now with this we can actually access that our photo great great and else else it will be a uh, get another default one of the image as the url okay use that as url uh, url will be which one here also i want to load another default image if they have no image that will be display one of the no image this type of one of the things so in our upload folder i want to do if you go to your exercise folder into the exercise folder i have already added one of the no image you can see no image dot jpg i better i copy it and now if you go to your project into the public here i want to create one, i have already created as a upload folder into the upload folder area i want to paste it okay here i want to done to get this image and also admin deleted all that image i will save in admin images folder here also i want to do and to create another folder okay as a admin images great now if you want to access it that is our upload and then the admin images rather than that is will be as a no image right i better want to copy it as a no image so that is the reason i have actually created as a upload admin images and photo or rather than upload folder that is the image name as a no image dot jpg right so that is our jpg great great now if they have no image that should be display as a no image so right now for this user as an admin if you go you can say for the admin i don't have any images that means i don't have any photo now that should be display our upload and no image now click as a save all let's check this out if you now go in here now refresh it hmm you can see it's now display as a no image great so now after that i also want to do i want to load that our user that means which user is locking username if you want to visible you can actually visible it in that case only we have to do i have already get all that our specific authenticated user data i take the things with this variable as a profile data now by this profile data i want to do and to access our database field name as a name okay that means now our name should be display or rather than if you also want to display the username you can also display it so right now a name is fine for me i want to access that name here p tag we don't need it i want to also display uh the username okay username username should be display or rather than here i want to use that as a username okay username and that will be display the name okay i want to display the name i want to display our another field data as email okay email that i want to visible i want to visible that phone i want to visible the address because here i have already created all that field you can see that is email and then the photo the phone address hmm, great great now i want to visible it now if you want to visible our condition will be the same by the profile data we can actually display it better i paste it i want to paste it i want to paste it also i want to paste it okay so now that will be our field name our field name for the name as a name and email field name as an email right so that is actually all that our database field name and for the phone phone i have also named it 
you can see there is a phone and address so now that will be as a phone and then that will be as an address okay address great so friend that's all now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go i want to refresh it now this data should be updated yes you can see it's now successfully visible right it's now successfully visible the images and then that is displayed our username that is displayed the name email phone and address so right now for a specific this user they have no address right now mm, you can see address is the null for the reason it's not display any address great so i better want to continue this process in our next video i want to work for our profile okay so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video